Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Rebecca. And together we are For the Love of Color. Hey guys, we had a special guest here today because this is her room and we thought, this is Joe's daughter, Marin. She is our favorite mini master maker ever. And she's my mini me. And she's incredibly talented and she has this fabulous room, but it's time for a change. My room's feeling a little bit seven year old. <laughs> so what are you wanting, Marin? Um, I want like a boho kind of look. Yes, girl. Oh. <laughs> so last time I designed Marin's room, she was six. Now that she's 10, she's had these cactus in her room for like the last four years. And I still love them, I still think they're adorable, but she's just ready for a little change. And I guess when your mom's an interior designer, you get your room changed out every few years. I know some of you might be thinking, why are you taking those down? They're so cute. And you're right, they're cute. She's just kind of grown out of them. So that's what's the story. So a couple years ago, when Joe moved into this house, she had this amazing DIY cactus wall. It is made from what, quarter inch ply? Or half inch ply? Half inch half inch plywood that she hand watercolored and applied to the wall. So now we gotta get it off, we've got these little pry bars, we're gonna take it down and get ready for the next phase. This is the dresser that we had at our old house, and um, it was painted black gold, but now we're going to be painting it blue for Baron's room. So we're taking out the hardware. The hardware is really cute. It looks kind of like this. And we're gonna wipe it down with um, TSP, and then we're just gonna paint right over it with the sprayer because it's already been painted. I got these plug-in sconces um, from one of my vendors and they're not quite the color I want uh, for the wall so I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Deep Turquoise which is going to match the dresser and I'm going to give them a little spray. Here is what the sconce looks like uh, before I painted it. Uh, and here's what it's going to look like after I paint it. So I decided to paint the inside part white and then the outside part blue and leave all the gold pieces how they are. Marin has this darling rattan daybed that Serena and Lily. from Serena and Lily that Joe wanted to make sure stayed in the space. And then these adorable campaign style nightstands that have already been painted coral. So that was another jumping off point for the room. Uh, Joe already replaced the rug. So that was the first thing to go down. We've got a cute little sitting area. It's real bright right now. Um, we just, oh yeah, the inspiration for the room was this really cute fabric from Opal House. So these are really sheer curtains. So I lined the sheer curtain and made uh, pillows out of them. So they're gonna go on her bed. But this is sort of like the lead fabric for the room. Yep. So from there, we pulled the coral, the pink, the mustard, the blue. And the blue has like a green undertone. 
So Marin needs more storage. Joe brought in this dresser and had it painted by her husband. This area is going to be her little art space. So I think it's just really important to kind of see what this room looks like before we work our magic and pulling it all together. There's also a really fun feature happening on this wall. I got these pillows in Ikea. They're really inexpensive. And then I found some trim at the fabric store. And what I'm gonna do is just zhuzh up these pillows a little bit and make them look a little bit more boho for her room. So I'm gonna glue on this and then I'm gonna glue on some of this fringe I found in the clearance section. So we're gonna kind of just double it up like that. A little layered action. Oh yeah, girl. What do you say on the count of three? One, two, two three. three. Open your eyes. Can you look at it? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Do you feel like it's a big girl? Like like okay. a teenager room? It's so yeah. cute. I think it's pretty. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part? The face of yeah. What do you think of the room? Oh my gosh, sis. Are you so excited? Mm -hmm. It's all clean. Mm -hmm. Did you look over here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. I just look like in the wall. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're gonna probably add just like a couple more plants and a couple more things on your desk. Yeah. But. We have a few finishing touches, but. Yeah. Look at the pillows on the chairs. Yeah, those are so cute. Did you guys add the fringes? Yeah. Did you make the blood face? Cut it? Yeah. Go sit on your bed and we'll see. Let me see how you look on your bed. <laughs> so cute. Hey Mary, why was it so important for you to get a room refresh? Well, I, I, I've had this room, I had the other room in two houses already, so it felt like I've had it for a long time. So I kind of just felt like I needed like something new, so I was more interested in my room. Because you hang out a lot in your room now, right? Mm -hmm. Spends a lot of time out here, in here. <laughs> 